what's available in the mind is uh it's like the mississippi river which is a very powerful river right like there's a lot happening it's it's not a tiny little trickle it's not a brook right it's very mm. alive this river and at the top of the river there's a lot of chop and turbulence there's noise mm. there's a lot of stuff happening in a way that's kind of chaotic if you were in the river you know it might actually be strong enough to sweep you away right but if you drop down a good six feet or so there's a current there's a flow mm -hmm. that carries you and then if you drop all the way down to the bottom where it's almost completely still and that the mind is like that that all these experiences are available for us because our mind is not just the small mind it's connected to the greater mind the universal mind and that when we, where we, where we are, where we bring our attention is what's creating that experience, but they're all available, which is cool. So again, not saying that we should therefore always be in flow or always be able to find it. But for me, when I know I'm in the chop, when I know I'm in the noise, it's really nice to know that that's just where my attention is right now and I can drop. And sometimes just remembering that helps me do it. And sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I just am not done with it for whatever reason. But knowing that feels, I like this metaphor because I feel it when I say it. 